Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I finally bought and played the new bounty, the Vulture, the one that costs 700 creation credits or 7 US dollars equivalent. And I have some thoughts that I want to share, hopefully help out some of you out there who are still debating whether they should be getting this paid content or not. So let's talk about the mission itself. How is it? Well, I can confidently say that I actually enjoyed the mission. I found it entertaining, a little bit different, and I have fun. If you enjoy Starfield, especially the Freestar Collective Faction Quest, then you'll be familiar. It will be still in the same theme, similar, but with a twist. It reminds me a lot of the 90s, late 90s, maybe early 2000s action movies for some reason, especially when you do the optional ending. However, despite all of that, I was a little bit let down by how short it was. I was expecting a longer mission, probably because in my head I kept thinking, well, I pay for this, you know, this is this is a pay one versus the other bounty, which was free for everyone, the star jacker that everybody gets. And I just kept having that at the back of my mind. Oh, there's got to be more. There's got to be more. And there wasn't. So I was a little bit let down by that. And I think that is my main complain if you will uh, i feel like complain might be a little bit too hard of a word but i'm gonna go with that word for now the amount of content that you get for the amount of money that you pay there is too big of a difference but if you don't agree let me know i think there was a misfire with the pricing of this i feel like it should have either been cheaper or they should have added more content to this, like way more. I personally prefer more content. Let's talk about what you're getting with this. So of course, there's the mission. This is how long it took me from beginning to end. When I started recording for the video for the entire mission until I hit stop, it was exactly an hour and 28 minutes. I am including menu navigation, me actually purchasing, downloading the bounty, as well as at the end doing the different endings, which by the way is the same ending, but happening in two different locations. So of course you can do your save and I'll go through both. And that's what I did. I also made sure that I looted everything. I usually don't do that, but now that we have a new currency, which is Astra, and it seems like the game is pretty stingy at giving those out, I did make sure to loot everything, which by the way, I didn't get any. Realistically, if you're playing this normally and not kind of recording and making a video about it, realistically, you probably be do the whole mission in about an hour or so. Then you also get two outfits. It is subjective. You may like them, you may not. Personally, I didn't quite find them particularly useful or interesting or anything like that. So no new spacesuits with this bounty. Uh, that was another letdown for me. And then finally, you do get a new weapon, which is the sniper rifle. I think that the weapon might be kind of the highlight of the package. It is definitely a good weapon. It has a really cool look. It seems very powerful as well. But is this like $7 good? Mm, I tend to not think so. It's not like we don't have other good sniper rifles in the game. I mean, for example, the Max Sniper, then there's also the Hard Target Sniper Rifle. So we do have other good weapons in the game. It's not like we were missing anything in that category. Now, I am not saying that this should be free. All I'm saying is that the amount of value that you get for what you pay for is not quite aligned in this case. And that is the big disconnect. And this is of course all just me, my personal opinions. I'm just sharing my experience with this paid content. The good news is Bethesda has heard the feedback and they are looking into it and hopefully there are changes in the future for the better. 
And for those who are thinking whether they should buy it or not, or have decided not to buy it, all I have to say is that don't feel bad about it. You are not missing on much. Uh, yes, the bounty was fun to me. And yes, you do get a new cool weapon, but it's not a must have. That's all I'm saying. I think that saving that money and putting that towards the DLC, it might be a better choice. I think there will be more content there down the road. There's just something about paying $7 for an hour of fun that is just kind of not sitting well with a lot of people. That's kind of all I wanted to share. I hope my experience helps out any of you, you know, in a way. Uh, if not, then I don't know, I'll try to do better, I guess, next time. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. Have fun and I'll see you all in the next video.